In today's video, we will be exploring the various parts and operations of a main air compressor. The main air compressor is responsible for compressing atmospheric air to a pressure of 30 bar, which is used to start the main engine and other auxiliary engines. Additionally, the compressed air, reduced to a pressure of 7 bar, is used for control systems and other general services. The main air compressor is typically a reciprocating tandem type, and it consists of several components, such as an electric motor, an electric panel, a crankshaft, and main bearings that support the shaft a connecting rod, a flexible coupling, and a flywheel. There is also a sight glass in the crankcase for checking the lubricating oil level. It also has an air filter through which atmospheric air enters, and first stage suction and discharge valves located on the top of the cylinder. The air from the filter enters the cylinder through the suction valve and is discharged through the first stage discharge valve. The tandem type cylinder and piston arrangement includes a second stage suction valve and an intercooler. The air from the first stage enters the intercooler for further compression through the second stage suction valve. The second stage discharge valve and aftercooler allow the air, after the second stage of compression, to pass through and enter the moisture and oil separator to the air receivers. There is also a second stage air relief valve, a non-return valve, an isolation valve, an unloader valve, a water inlet valve, and a bursting disc fitted in the water side to protect it from overpressurization. A sight glass is provided to check the water flow, and a water outlet valve is also present. The indicating instruments include a water pressure gauge, a crankcase lubricating oil pressure gauge, a first stage air pressure gauge, and a second stage air pressure gauge. A pressure switch and a temperature switch are installed for activating the compressor safety trip due to low lubricating oil pressure or high temperature of the discharged air. The air receivers are equipped with an air inlet valve, a manhole door, a pressure gauge, a safety valve, a drain valve, and an automatic drain valve. To operate the compressor, you need to open the cooling water inlet valve, the cooling water outlet valve, the valve on the discharge side of the compressor, and the air inlet valve to the receiver. Next, turn on the power and put the compressor switch to auto mode, ensuring that the lubricating oil pressure, as shown by the gauge, is normal. During starting, the unloader valve opens and the air from the first and second stage separator pots is discharged, keeping the load on the motor low. Once the unloader valve closes, the amperage increases the first and second stage pressure gauge readings go up and the compressor starts building up pressure in the air receiver. When the compressor runs continuously, the unloader valve opens at fixed intervals for a short duration to remove the moisture and oil collection in the first and second stage separator pots. During every opening of the unloader valve, the first and second stage pressure gauge readings go down. 
The readings rise again when the unloader valve closes. When the air pressure reaches the set high limit, the compressor automatically stops and the unloader valve opens. In summary, this video has covered the parts and operation of a main air compressor. By understanding these components and how they work together, you can ensure that the compressor runs smoothly and efficiently. Thank you for joining us on this educational journey. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos.